God is good and he is worthy to be praised. Good morning. You are listening to the broadcast of First Amy Church here in Seattle, Washington, a place of possibilities. Make sure you are following us on all online platforms so you can get the latest fame news. Now it is time to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Come with me as we enter into our service. Welcome to me this morning. We're going to say, oh, 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 we need you to rise up. Build this place, God. Come on, say, let the glory of, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Come on, say it again. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Anybody want the glory to rise among us right now? Anybody need his presence? Anybody need his glory to rise among us? Then you got to do something. Say it again. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Oh, you got to do something this morning. You got to push through and let it rise.
some praise if you know he's rising up in this place. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we bless you. of our king. Let the praises of our king, let it rise. Amen. Welcome to First Amy Church, friends, family, and guests. My name is Dallas Richardson, and we are so blessed to be in the presence of the Lord today. We are so blessed to be in the presence of the Lord today. This is the part of our service called Praise and worship where we can all participate amen so as we continue in worship please let's give our praise team a round of applause I mean, serious, don't push your hand up if you don't mean it. Anybody got real proof that he's been amazing to you this week? Yeah. And you're not ashamed to wave those not hands. Right now. Hallelujah. That's the good stuff. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you this morning, God. Because we recognize that had it not been for your amazing power, we don't know where we would be. And so since we know we're here today, we're going to give you all the praise. Amen. Everybody say, you're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. So amazing. So amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. So amazing. So amazing. He healed the sick. Heal the sick. Praise the dead. Praise the dead. Lord of all. Lord of all. The great I am. The great I am. He gave me peace. Gave me peace. Gave me grace. Gave me grace. Gives me strength. Gives me strength. To run the race. To run Come on, help race. me say, You're amazing. You're amazing. If you know he's amazing, help us sing You're this. Amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. So amazing. So I'm a amazing. witness that you're amazing. You're amazing. You are amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. So amazing. So amazing. You cause the sun, stars, and moon to shine. And I'm so glad you're mine. Oh, I'm glad to say you're mine. So we stand. We stand in awe of you, amazed, amazed at the things you do. You're holy, you're holy. Worthy is the Lamb. Who was slain? Who was slain? The Lamb was slain for you and me. Come on, say, we stand. We stand.
to the greatness no that our God gives us. Amen. No alcohol, no drug, no nothing. No, one to you. no money, no friendship, no cars, no nothing. No one to you. This joy that I have, the world can't give it to me. No one to you. This joy that I have, the world can't give it to me. No one to so I'm going to learn how to get more and more of the joy. No one God, give me more, more of no your joy. To you. Come on, everybody, say that. No one compares. No one compares to you. This world keeps trying to be bring bigger no things. No one compares to you. Listen, I want to just talk real quick on that part. The world is getting bigger and bigger and wiser and smarter with social media and a whole lot of technology trying to make itself bigger, trying to show you that the world can sustain its own. The world can be the God that you really need, but we all know that if it had not been for the grace and the power of our Lord, we would have nothing. Yeah. Hallelujah. The world tries to make itself more glamorous than your heavenly Father. And if you don't realize that, pay attention because they want to get you distracted and separated. That's the enemy of the world. You don't need prayer. All you need is enough money and good credit. All your commercials are about building your credit. You all see that? About buying, about stock, about money. But your hope should be built in Jesus and building that credit. Anybody got any heavenly credit out there? Oh, I'm building mine. Mine is at a thousand right now. But I know that I know that no one compares to you. Say it. No one compares to you. God, we're standing here and we're saying, no one compares to no you. No one compares to you. We won't be distracted by anything in the world. No one compares to you. That's why we say, you're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. Come on, say it. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. God's amazing. You're amazing. God, you are amazing. You're amazing. God, you are amazing. Gotta say it every day. Remind yourself. No matter what comes and goes, you are amazing. No matter what the doctor says, I trust the report of the Lord and I call him amazing. Doctor, amazing God. You are amazing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give your amazing God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. He's an amazing God. Hallelujah. He's an amazing God. Yeah. So let us praise him. Look what he's done for each and every one of us this morning. He woke us up. He woke us up. He woke us up. So we got a reason to praise him. Some people laid down last night. They didn't get up. But God got us up. So we got a reason to praise him. I said praise. us up that you brought us to the house of the Lord one more time 
God. And so that's why we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, for what you've done. Lord, we praise you what you've done back on Calvary, on that old rugged cross, Lord. How you hell nailed me to the cross, Lord. And you stayed on that old rugged cross. And you bled for each and one of us, Lord. And we know it wasn't the nails that held you through the cross, Lord. But it was the love, Lord. It was the love that you had for us, Lord. Because you could have come down any time. You could have come down from that old rugged cross. But you stayed there, Lord. You stayed there, Lord. And we're so grateful, Lord, for everything, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for this morning, Lord. We ask you to bless each and every one of us that's in this room right now, God. We ask you to bless the families of each and every one of us, Lord Jesus. And, Lord, we pray for our pastors, Pastor Terry G. Anderson, his wife, Dr. Phyllis Anderson, Lord, as they continue to heal, Lord Jesus. We ask you to be with them and their families in touch right now, God, because we know you are God who heals, Lord. We all in here are witnesses, Lord, because we've been there. We've had some sickness in our lives, Lord, and you healed us. You brought us through, Lord Jesus. So we thank you, Lord. And, Lord, we take this opportunity right now. Lord, we pray for the people in Buffalo, you New York, Lord. We pray for each and every one of them and their families, Lord. We ask you, Lord, for healing over them, Lord. Healing over New York, Lord. Touch them, Lord, as they grieve, Lord. Touch them as they pain, Lord. I ask you to comfort them, Lord. Comfort each and every one of them, Lord. Because, Lord, you know what happened in Buffalo. It could happen right here in Seattle, Lord. So, Lord, we ask you, Lord, right now, God, pour out your Holy Spirit on them, Lord. Rain down on them this morning, God. And we, God, Lord, we just want to give you all the praise, Lord. We give you all the praise because you're a God who sits high but you look low. You're a God that said you will comfort us in the midst of our pain, Lord. You are a God that promised us, Lord, that you would never leave us, that you would never forsake us. You said you would always, Lord. You said you would always be with us, Lord. And we believe it, we trust it, and, Lord, we just going to call it all done in the mighty, precious name of Jesus. And we all agreed and said amen, amen. and amen. Thank amen. you, Lord. Amen. Put your hands together. The song says, he's been good, so we're going to need you to help us, all right? I'm going to teach it to you. Well, I am a happy soul. I've got goodness untold. I've got another day. I've got a lot to say. He's been good. Hey, he's been good. He's been good. Yeah, he's been good. He's been good. He's been good. He's been good. Hey, everybody say hey. Hey. Everybody say hey. Hey. Listen. Well, I am a happy soul. I've got goodness untold. I've got another day. I've got a lot to say. He's been good. Oh, I gotta say it. Come on. Somebody say, he's been good. He's been good. Oh, he's been good. He's been good. Yeah. Say, he's been good. He's been good. Do I got a witness out there? If you are a witness, say, hey. Hey. Well, I've got newness supply. I've got my own right mind. I've got a light to shine. Here's my bottom line. He's been good. Oh, oh. the Lord has been good. Say. He's been good. Hallelujah. He's been so good. He's been good. Anybody agree with me? He's been good. He's been good. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands again if you know he's been good. Now this is your part. Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? You say that. Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? Can I hear from you? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? Can I hear from you? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? Can I hear from you? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? Can I hear from you? Can I get a witness? 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 Can I hear from you? Can I hear from you? He's been good. He's been good. Sometimes I get a little bit beside.
beside myself. And I just say this one thing. I say, I can't hold it. Say, I can't hold it. I can't hold it. Nothing good to me. Say, I can't hold it. I can't hold it. Nothing good to me. Can you, can you hold it? I can't hold it. Have you been? Nothing good to me. Say, I can't hold it. I can't hold it. For real, if you know God has been good, let me see you yeah. just wave your hands like he's been good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because when you think of where you used to be huh. and where you are today, yeah. 
Hallelujah. I don't know if you heard me, but I was saying he healed my eyesight. I was blind in my right eye for months. Filled up with blood for my diabetes. But the Lord said, you know what? You are not going to lose your eye. You're not going to go blind. I need both your eyes. I need you to have both your eyes so that you can see where I'm taking you. I don't want you to just peek. I want you to see clearly. Oh, he did that thing. Hallelujah. Oh, come on and give him some praise. Hallelujah. Same church announcements and events. Fame Scholarship Application 2022 to 2023. Apply now. Hard copy applications available at the church. Completed applications due by Friday, May 27th. Online submissions by 11.59 p.m. Hard copy applications in the church office by 4 p.m. Join us for the Washington Supreme Court Symposium, Reparations for African Americans, June 1st from 8.30 a.m. to 12.35 p.m. Save the date, Mary F. Handy Women's Missionary Society Virtual Human Trafficking Workshop, June 11th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Registration, $35. Calling all women, Women's season is upon us in May. Our team leaders are Sister Maxine, Sister Sharon, Sister Ovida. Co-leaders and team support is needed. Please email us at fame at fameseattle.org to volunteer on the team. Join in the fun, celebration, and activities that will accentuate womanhood and bless the church. Sunday, June 12th, Fame Seattle Campus. Sunday, June 26th, Fame South Campus. Join us in our weekly events at FAME. Sunday schedule online events. FAME Encounter Study Group, 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. on Zoom. Youth Church Christian Experience, all ages on Zoom. Monday morning, Men's Prayer on Zoom from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Monday evening, Adult Biblical Studies on Zoom from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Wednesday Noonday Prayer Band, 12 noon to 1 p.m. on the conference call line. Wednesday Night Intercessory Prayer Group, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. on the conference call line. Bible Study with Pastor Anderson, Thursday evenings at 6 p.m. on the Facebook page of Fame Seattle and Pastor Carrie Anderson. Memory Sunday is Sunday, June 12th. To learn more, please visit Brain Health Center for African Americans.org for more information on this memorable Sunday. Be sure to keep up with the fame news on our website, www.fameseattle.org, and on our Facebook page, Fame Seattle. church. <laughs> Guests and friends. Praise the Lord, everybody. Glory to God in the highest. My name is Ovita Hunter, along with Maxine Gully and Sharon Hargrave. We are your Women's Day season team captains. We are very excited to be here and to lead you um, for Women's Day. Our theme this year is the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. That's right. Our 
scripture is 1 Corinthians 16, 13, and 14. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong and do everything in love. Our colors are black, white, and red. So get out your black, white, and red, men and women, everybody. So now I'm going to turn it over to Sister Maxine. Good morning. Good morning. We want to present, we present to you today our women's season banquet that will be held on Friday, June 3rd, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the Leona B. Jones Fellowship Hall. The name of this event is Food, Fun, and Fast Festival. Tickets can be purchased through each hotel, the church office, and any auxiliary presence. Tickets will be sold for $25 adults, 17 and under, $10, box four and under free. Please refer to your flyer that was mailed out for any additional information. Your, particip your participation will help us to reach our goal of $26,000. This will be the first grand banquet in two years since COVID. So therefore, we will be taking, uh, checking your vaccination card at the door. And we are looking forward to a glorious celebration. We invite all of you to come join us and enjoy an evening of food, fun, and fast. Tell everyone. Good morning, my people. Good morning. Yeah. You are my people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make the announcement in regards to the speakers that we have available and that would be here for Women's Day. On June 12th, we're going to be graced with former police chief, Sister Common Beth. Amen. She will be de delivering the message. Yes. And for Fame South, on the 26th, we will have First Lady of the Cascade District Pacific Northwest Conference, Sister Mary Banner. Yes. Right. Right. Amen. And we have the opportunity to go to both. Yes. So what we want to do is to encourage you all to participate, to reach out, lend a helping hand, and support all of the activities that will be occurring during women's season. So we look forward to seeing all of you. And open up the coffee break. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank God for our upcoming Women's Day and Women's Season. And it just sounds like we have a treat coming. Before us, we're going to be looking good in our red, black, and white. We're going to be eating good at the banquet. And then we're going to be generous, generously good, because this is our church. It ain't nobody else's church, but it's our church. And in the meantime, now, now is the time for all good women and men in here to open up because this, again, is our church. Open up your hearts if you haven't had a chance to give this morning before you got here. We have our ushers. We're, we're, we're so happy that we can have ushers these days. And I'd encourage you to raise your hand if you have an offering that you'd like to place right now. Raise your hand if you have an offering. We have several ways that you can give. You can give now, here. You can go online to our website. You can do anything that God tells you to do 
He wouldn't tell you to do it if you couldn't do it. So I would say just be generous, be thoughtful. We have a, a hand here. I think, do you need, somebody needs an envelope. We would welcome you back. We've missed you. We say hallelujah for your presence. Hallelujah for your health. Hallelujah for your well-being. Just take your time. It's your turn to blend and to bend and to give and to receive. It's your turn. that are shown here on the screen by text as Fame Seattle and the number is 73256 again you can go online and you can do it the good old fashioned way and write a check and put it in an envelope you can mail it but you, and you can give it say hallelujah for the opportunity to give to keep our doors open, operating fully. Thank God for the people who are online with us. You can give. The way we give makes a difference. Your offering makes a difference. It keeps us here like we've been here. We're the oldest church one of the oldest churches here in Seattle, and it takes your giving to keep us rolling. So I say praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the ability to give everybody. I can't wait to get to my electronic means so that because I didn't have a chance to give before I got here, but I got a chance now you do too. So if the ushers are ready, we're ready. Ready? Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. you would bow your heads and hearts with me. Lord God, we come thanking you for the gifts that have come. We come thanking you for the ability to use those gifts well to your glory. We come, Lord, thanking you for every person, every household that have had it to give and those who wanted deeply to give but could not for whatever reason we thank you for them now we say thank you God and we receive our offerings from your people thank you God and amen amen
what you done for me. How you loose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. Turn my darkness into day. You bring my joy in the time of sorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Peace in the time of storm. Strength when I'm weak and worn. I can never repay you, Lord, for what you done for me. How you loose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. Turn my darkness into day. You bring my joy in the time of sorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Peace in the time of storm. Strength when I'm weak and worn. I can never repay you, Lord, for what you done for me. How you loose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. Turn my darkness into day. You bring my joy in the time of sorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Oh, 
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. What a joy it is to be with you today. I wish I could be with you in person, but this is the next best thing of being there with you is to uh, be sharing with you in worship through a virtual experience. And I wanna thank you, first of all, for your support, your love, your prayers for me and my wife. We're both uh, still COVID positive and uh, we're, we're doing very, very well, but we're not out of the woods yet. And so I just want to take a moment before we get into the day's message to say thank you so much for your thoughtfulness, your prayers, and I'm looking forward to being back with you very, very soon. Eternal God, how we thank you for this worship experience right now. This is what we have before us, a right now experience. We ask your blessings, we pray in Jesus' name. Upon this word, amen. I wanna draw your attention in the New Living Translation, Psalms 92, verses 12 through 14. Psalms 92, verses 12 through 14, from the New Living Translation. But the godly will flourish like palm trees and grow strong like the cedars of Lebanon. <clears throat> For they are transplanted to the Lord's own house. They flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, they will still produce fruit. They will remain vital and green. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. And I wanna preach a, mo a moment on this subject. Don't count me out yet. If you can look at somebody with your mask on and say, you know, don't count me out yet. Don't count me out yet. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt tapped out? Let me ask it another way. Have you ever been in a situation where you thought you had gotten over something? You believed you were delivered from what you had experienced in the past. But you found out that your past, although you're not where you were, you're not where you want to be, and you find yourself in a situation of being in an in-between situation. You, are, you weren't going back. You're not going to be held back. But now, every now and then, there comes a little reminder that strikes a little nerve. You thought you were out of something. You thought you had gotten over something. You thought you were through with something. But every now and then there comes a little reminder and it strikes a little nerve. And that nerve tells you, I still have some leftover residue. <laughs> when when that, that thing, that, that thing I thought I was over comes back and begins to conjure back up in my mind. That, that, tells, that tells us when I think and reflect on that past episode, I feel a little tinge through my body to remind me, and that reminds me I'm not quite over that situation yet. When those types of emotions come up and you begin to reflect on a past experience that has troubled you or gotten you off of your center, took you to a place of dis-ease, that generally means you're not over the situation. Amen. The images and the memories are still embedded in the recesses of your mind and crops its ugly head as triggers designed to pull you away 
from your center. Whenever these types of feelings pop up in your mind and wants to tap dance on your brain, you got to learn to be able to say, devil, don't count me out yet. I may not be where I want to be, but I refuse to believe the lie that I have not made progress in my life. Come on now. I refuse to believe. Matter of fact, I would go on to say that I may look the same, but I'm not the same. Can anybody understand what I'm saying here? Can anybody testify what I'm saying? I may have the same name. I still may live in the same address, have the same job. I haven't changed my wardrobe. I may look the same, but I am not the same anymore. I may have some bruises, but I'm not going to live a bruised, stained life. I may have some scrapes and I may have some scratches, but I refuse to allow those scrapes and scratches define who I am and who I'm about to be. For you see, the scabs that are forming on the outside, although they don't look very pretty and they may be crusty and dark on the outside, it's those scabs that are doing their job to protect my cuts and to keep the germs and the other stuff out that will allow my skin cells underneath a chance to heal. So while I may have some bumps and bruises, the scabs that you see are actually protective measures for me to enhance my healing. So let me ask you a question today. How many of you have had something go on in your life that just does not seem to go away? I mean, it's nagging. It's, 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 here and then it you think it's gone but then it crops itself back up i look at my situation with covid and i'm now on my 10th day as i'm speaking to you and i don't have any fever i don't have any fatigue I no dry cough no shortness of breath but when i test it this last test i'm still contagious and then I did my own readings. I did some of my own readings and, and I've discovered and, and read where it says a person with COVID uh, is thought to be contagious or the most contagious in the days immediately leading up to symptoms at the onset. For example, the pre-symptomatic period and throughout the first several days of the ex exhibition of the symptoms. However, as I continue to read, I saw that it can take several more days for a person's immune system to actually clear itself of the virus from the body completely. So then when I finished reading that, I've had to learn how to shout victory, even though I'm still contagious. <laughs> I've had to learn to shout hallelujah, even though I'm still medically not quite healed. I began to think about life also, and I found out, my brothers and sisters, I found out that life is the same way. For life is not about living your life without a care in the world. No, no, no. Life is not about having all of your needs met. Life is not about having more money to do than what you know what to do with. Life is about being able to shout glory when you're still walking up the rough side of the mountain. Come on and shout with me now. What I'm discovering is that life is about learning how to say thank you, Jesus, when you're still in your in-between status, where you've left from where you were, but you haven't reached where you're going and you're still in an in-between state, but you've learned in your in-between to say, praise the Lord. Can I get a witness here? You've left from where you are, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're not doing those things anymore. You're not with that crowd anymore. You're not with those people anymore, more, but you're still not yet where God has destined you to be. So you're in an in-between, but you're able to shout in your in-between. Come on, praise the Lord with me, somebody. It's in those states that you come to realize I'm not going out like this. I may be in my in-between, but I ain't going out like this. I may not be where I want to be, but I thank God I'm not where I used to be. Come on, praise the Lord with me. I'm just preaching this thing. I'm just giving a personal testimony. The Lord has done so much for me. If he doesn't do a single thing left, he's already blessed me more than I could imagine. Blessed me more than I could ever dream of. He, he has woke, he woke me up every day. He keeps the blood flowing in my veins. I, I don't have anything to complain about. I can just thank him for my right now. Jesus says in John 16, verse 33, in this world, you're going to have some trouble. You're going to have some trial. You're going to have some tribulation, but take heart. In other words, be of good cheer because he, he doesn't end there. He says, I have overcome the world. Yes, we're overcomers. Hallelujah. I wish I, I was looking at you right now because I believe I see some overcomers in the house right now. I believe I see some overcomers in the house right now. In other words, if you're going to accomplish anything in this life, you will have to learn to say, don't count me out yet. Praise the Lord. I might not be where I want to be, but don't count me out yet. I may have some stuff I'm still dealing with, but don't count me out yet. How many of you have felt depleted or felt defeated or felt alone? You've got to learn how to say, don't count me out yet. And then if I could take a page from the song from Michael Jackson, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Sometimes you got to take a look at the man or the woman in the mirror and pick yourself up, wash your face, comb your hair, put your makeup on, dress yourself, and tell yourself God made a perfect man. God made a perfect woman in me. And tell yourself, I'm not counting myself out. I'm on the precipice of greatness. I'm about to experience a breakthrough in my life. God's got a miracle with my name on it. God, you are the author and you are the finisher of my faith. And I'm not taking second best. I'm not taking second class. I'm not taking what the world has to say. You are the author and the finisher of my faith. And I'm standing on your word. Somebody needs to give God a hand praise right now. Thank you, Jesus. Don't you know don't you know? Don't you realize God good God took time to make us? Don't you realize God fashioned us to be ornaments of his praise? Come on and talk back to me now. So don't count yourself out. Don't you give up. The symptoms on the outside may still be there. What's lurking on the inside that's disease may still be there, but you got to shout victory in the midst of the storm. There may be some of you right now that are having a rough time. There may be people right now at the sound of my voice in this sanctuary right now, or even on the radio as this will be broadcast later on. You might be in a bad fix right now. Your down days may seem more than your good days right now. I just stopped by to tell you, you got to turn to Psalm 92, beginning at verse 12, and you got to encourage yourself because when you read Psalm 92, and let's just start at verse number 12, it says, the godly will flourish like palm trees. Hallelujah and grow strong like the cedars of Lebanon. That's what God thinks about you and me, is that we are going to be like palm trees, and we're going to flourish 
in spite of the storm. I get excited when I think about that because when you look at palm trees, let's look at the palm tree. First of all, you notice its uprightness when you look at palm trees. And when you compare palm trees with other types of trees, not all, but there are other types of trees. And some trees are irregular. They are twisted and are tortuous in their growth. Some trees hug the ground before they rise. But the palm tree rises straight towards heaven. It stands upright amongst the trees. It doesn't sag and it may be tossed by the winds and moved by the rains, but it learns to bend, but not be uprooted. It learns to bend, but not break. Oh, praise the Lord. God likens us to palm trees because the believer, I know we have some storms in our life, but the storms are not coming to uproot us. The storms come to teach us how to bend. Hallelujah. How to go with the flow. If it's blowing from the left to the right, we flow to the left. If it's blowing from the right to the left, we learn to flow in the direction, in the, in the path of the wind so that we can flow in the time of those storms. Is there anybody here that you know that you're a palm tree because you've learned how to bend when times were rough. You've learned how to bend when the when the storms got rough on you. You've learned how to bend when the storm clouds rose. You've learned how to bend when you receive bad news. You learned how to bend, and when you bend, you got down on your knees most of the time and said, Lord, have mercy on me, Jesus. You've learned how to bend. You did not sag, but you learned how to pray. You may have been tossed, and you may have been driven by the restless sea of time, somber skies, howling tempests, off succeed a bright sunshine, but in that that land, hallelujah, a perfect day. When the mist has rolled away, we'll understand it better. Yes, we will. We'll understand it better. By and by, by and by, the songwriter said, when the morning comes, all the saints of God will be gathered home and we'll all tell the story how we've overcome. We'll understand it better by and by. Come on and thank God now. You're a palm tree. Don't count me out yet. I'm like that palm. I've learned how to bend. I've learned how to go with the flow. I've learned how to sway with the wind. And I'm not going to be uprooted. Don't count me out. I've learned how to bend. And I'll understand it better. Yes, I will. By and by. But not only does God liken the believer to the palm trees, my brothers and sisters. We have to understand another reason why the palm trees are very seldom uprooted. Not just because they've learned how to bend, but its roots go down deep. Hallelujah. Its roots find water. Its roots get entangled with one another so that they cannot be broken. They cannot be moved. Every time you think you want to give up, Every time you try to say, Lord, I don't think I can make it again, think about how deep your roots go down. Hallelujah. It brought you through COVID. Hallelujah. That's because your roots go deep. It brought you through sickness. Hallelujah. It brought you through losing your job. Hallelujah. It brought you through your divorce. Hallelujah. It brought you through losing a child. Hallelujah. It brought you through your depression. Hallelujah. Shall I go on? Somebody say, go on, pastor. Well, let me go on. Where would you be right now if it wasn't for God being in your life? That's the question I want to ask. Where would you be if it wasn't for God being in your life? 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shall I go on? Somebody say, Pastor, go on. How many times, I think I'll go on then. How many times has God made a way for you? Hallelujah. How many times has God opened up a door for you? Hallelujah. How many times has God made a way? for you. Hallelujah. How many times has God moved your enemies out of your way? Hallelujah. It's because the roots go down deep. That's why you couldn't break Nelson Mandela being in solitary confinement 27 years in prison because the roots go deep. That's how Thurgood Marshall and his team in 1954 fought all the way up to the Supreme Court to prevail in the Brown versus Board of Education case, it's because the roots go down deep. That's how Jackie Robinson, the first man to break into baseball of African-American descent, could break the color barrier in baseball in 1947, endure the cruelty in 1948, endure the inhumane treatment in 1949, the racial slurs, and all of the other things that went along with his three-year silence, but was Rookie of the Year in 19. 19- 47 and was voted on the first ballot into baseball's hall of fame it's because the roots go deep that's how our mothers that's how our fathers came to this Americas before the Mayflower and they survived in spite of being chained up and shackled up they were chained up by their hands chained by their feet but God had opened up their minds so that their minds could not be shackled. It's because the roots go deep. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. There should be somebody shouting hallelujah right now. I hope I can see you in the spirit shouting about you wouldn't be where you are if your roots had not gone down deep. Yes, yes. So not only are we palm trees and we learn to sway with the wind and blow in the direction of the wind, but our roots keep us grounded. Our roots keep us from being uprooted. But we also, according to Psalm 92, we grow. Yes, we grow through the experience. We grow through the pitfalls. We grow through the through the turmoil. We grow, grow through the trial. We grow through the trauma. We grow through our dilemmas. We grow from faith to faith, from strength to f- strength, from hope to a new level of hope. We grow. Why? How is it that we grow? Not only are we like palm trees, but we find ourselves being likened to cedars. We grow as cedars. We grow strong like the cedars of Lebanon. Now, when you read about cedars, you're not going to find cedars growing in a garden. (laughs) No, 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 no. You're not going to see cedar trees growing in a garden. No, you're not. No, you're not. Not your rose bush garden. Not not your not your vegetable garden. You're not going to see cedars growing in those types of places. You don't find cedars growing in gardens. You find cedars growing in fields. You find cedars growing in open spaces that will allow for them to grow. So let me just say this. For everybody who did not grow up with a silver spoon in your mouth, but you made it anyway, you're like a cedar. Come on and give God praise. For everybody that grew up in some rough terrain, but you're still here, give God some praise. For everybody that's had some rough spots, some low valleys, high hills, detours, roadblocks, pit stops along the way, breakdowns, blowouts, long nights, dark days, depressed times, but you're still here. You're growing strong like a cedar. Come on and give God the glory right now. You've learned how to say, don't count me out yet. Don't count me out. 
Oh, oh. <coughs> oh, I feel so good here. I just, I just, I just, I hope you're understanding this, this message today. Some of you still don't get it, though. Some of you still don't get it. I, I've been quoting from Psalm 92, verses 12 and following from the New Living Translation. But I want to repeat it now as I close from the King James Version. And the King James Version should make it very clear to my AMEs who have been AMEs for at least two or three years. Because when you read this scripture, this verse from the King James Version, it says, it says it this way. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Let me say it again. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish. Let me say it one more time. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Don't count me out because I'm going to be like a tree that's planted in the house of the Lord and I shall. Somebody say, I shall. I shall. Somebody say, I shall. I will. Somebody say, I will. I show enough will. Somebody say, I show enough will. I will flourish in the courts of our God. Don't count me out. Amen. And thank God. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, fame family. In Jesus' name, amen.
see myself flourishing. I, I, I really am focused on what I see with my eyes or, or what I hear with my ears. And Lord, it's just making me stagnant. It's making me not move to the left, move to the right. I, I need someone to pray with me. your word, they're saved, but from time to time, they forget. And oh Lord, bring the reminder that you're omnipresent, that you're omnipotent, that you're sovereign, and that you will walk with them. So Lord, we stand today with grateful hearts. You've given us another day to move through another week, Lord. Bless your people, O oh Lord, in the spaces where they are. Allow them to feel your grace and mercy. And we'll give you all the praise. All the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remind you always.